the Palestinian government has expressed displeasure over the failure of democracy and abuse of rights of citizens in Gaza. The Palestinian ambassador to Nigeria spoke to newsmen in Abuja, saying about 34,789 have been killed in Gaza, with about 78,204 injured. He says that about 1.1 million people in Gaza are in need of humanitarian aid and have become victims of famine following the continuous assault by Israeli Defense Forces on the trip. Everyone has an essential role to play as a game changer. The youth from around the world are rewriting modern history, changing the political discourse and creating a new political order. Don't miss this opportunity. Be part of the current global intifada. Give your contribution and make positive changes. The current war stands out as unprecedented in the scale of death, devastation, dev destruction, and the human suffering it has incurred, with repercussions that will, will echo for generations to come. At the, as of Thursday, May 7, the number of Palestinian murder reached 34,789 with 78,204 injured. Since October 7, 474 Palestinians, including 116 children, have been killed in the occupied West Bank, including East Jerusalem, and about 5,000 have been injured. Imminent in Gaza, half of its population, 1.1 million people, face catastrophic food insecurity. This represents the highest share of population ever recorded globally. Among the 677,000 on the brink, in the brink of famine are an estimated 15,000 pregnant women, heightening the, high, high the risk for both mothers and the newborn. Children's acute malnutrition rate have doubled since January, with one in three under two suffering from malnutrition. Palestinians in Gaza now continues constitute some 80% of all people facing famine worldwide. Only 12 out of 36 hospitals in the Gaza and 22 out of the, of the enclave, 88 primary health care facilities are par partially functional. Today, according to the United Nations Health Agency, the hospitals are operating at limited capacity and overwhelmed with patients grappling with critical shortage of fuel, medicine, supply, and medical staff. The killing of seven aid workers of the Wood Ward Central Kitchen from the multiple Israeli airstrike on April 1, 2024, was not an isolated incident. At, the, at least 254 aid workers have been killed, 248 um, national, six foreigners, including 185 UN staff. This total includes the highest number of UN personnel killed in the conflict in the history of the organization. Finally, on the occasion of the World Press Freedom Day on May 3rd, United Nations UNESCO awarded the Palestinian journalist covered the Israeli genocide war in Gaza, the 2024 UNESCO Goral Meir Kano World Press Freedom Prize for their brave and courageous. <laughs>